Welcome to Gerard Greenan Consulting Limited. Today, my aim is to show you how to build a brand that will serve you well and grow your business too. As a business owner, if you struggle to define what your business is and what it does within two sentences, your brand needs some work. With an excess of 25 years experience within branding and marketing, I have helped hundreds of diverse clients reach their customers and stand out within their market sector. My experience with branding and marketing has its foundation set in the creation of dozens of memorable brands for local, national and international businesses. Hundreds of highly effective marketing campaigns which have aided in the success and growth of many clients. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon as I will be adding more videos in the future, all of which are aimed to help grow businesses and brand equity. We have included a simple and easy to follow branding plan within the link section, which you are welcome to download. Let's dive in. Let's talk about branding. What is a brand? A brand is many things, not just a snappy name and a funky logo. Seth Godin, who is a marketing and leadership expert as well as a best-selling author of books including Tribes, Purple Cow, This Is Marketing, and Lynchpin states, So what it means to have a brand is you've made a promise to people. They have expectations. It's a shorthand. What should I expect the next time? And if that is distinct, you've earned something. Essentially, your brand is your reputation and how you will be seen and understood as a business. So, not just a logo. At Jared Green & Consulting, we break the creation of a brand into eight bite-sized chunks. One, researching the client's target audience and potential competitors. Two, choosing the best focus and the personality of the business. Three, business name selection. Four, creating a slogan or strap line. Five, creating the look and feel of the new brand. Six, designing the company's logo. Seven, creating brand guidelines. And eight, the implementation of the new brands across all forms of media. To help demonstrate this process, we will showcase a completed project produced by one of our clients, Aggregate Solutions Limited. Aggregate are a regional supplier of aggregate and associated services throughout the southeast of England. We will demonstrate our processes and the work produced to brands and promote the launch of this new business along with its ongoing promotion. Let's get started. 1. Research The first step before we make any decisions about the brand is to research the client's current market. Specifically, who are the potential customers along with investigating any potential competitors. By doing this, we will be able to see who the main competitors are and how they are currently promoting their services, which will generally take us to their websites and social media pages. This process is done not to copy what competitor brands are doing. We are simply trying to locate some common ground and use that as a foundation to build the new brand. Two, focus and personality. Once the research is complete, we can start to look at building the brand's focus and personality. What Aggregate Solutions is and what it offers must be immediately understood by its potential customers. It is important to find the focus of the company at an early stage as this will become part of the brand's mix as it is being built. To achieve this, we use two easy exercises which will help us set the brand's focus and personality. First is always the company's positioning statement. A positioning statement is a brief introduction to the company's service offering within its market sector and what makes it stand apart from its competitors. Normally, this is something like, we offer product or service, four, target sector, two, value proposition. So in the case of aggregate solutions, it would be something like, aggregate solutions, providing sustainable aggregates to the construction industry at affordable prices. 
A positioning statement shouldn't be viewed in the same way as a sales pitch. That is completely different. All we are doing at this stage is sharing our own view of the company and what it stands for. Secondly, descriptive words. We compile a list of key words that we would associate with the brand as if it were a person, which will help us to project the company's values. For example, we would include the words and phrases like sustainable, experienced, approachable, responsible, diverse, etc. This step in the brand creation will be very important in the development of its creative assets, both visual and written. Once these two elements are complete, we will have a clear understanding of the company's personality, attributes, along with the reputation that we would like to project. Together, these points will set the tone for the brand within its market sector. 3. The name of the company This is where shit gets real. Giving a company a name is a big step. Where do we start with this? Again, we break this down into smaller chunks. We could be very deliberate with a name that describes exactly what is on offer, the aggregate company. We could adopt Latin or Greek words, aggregatum. We could also try to combine two relevant words to form one new word, like PayPal, Duracell, or in this case, EcoAg. We could rework completely unrelated words, like to form a new word that will become instantly recognizable and will be much easier to locate a free domain name for and help in its listings on search engines. Having worked through this exercise, we decided on Aggregate, as it is visually modern in styling and delivers a recognizable and memorable device that could be developed going forward. 4. Creating a slogan or strapline The key to creating a good slogan is to always keep it short and catchy so that it makes a good impression and is easily retained by new and existing customers. Over the years, we have found that the best way to create a great slogan is to include the company's claim. In this instance, the key points that we wanted to get across were that Aggregate, as a company, provided its clients with a wide range of sustainable aggregates, and that they were on hand to provide the solutions required within the UK construction industry. Having established this, we decided upon Sustainable Aggregate Solutions. 5. Creating the look and feel of the new brand Next was to create a brand color palette, as a powerful or sympathetic color selection will go a long way to define the look of a brand and ultimately differentiate it from its competitors. When researching colors, we generally turn to both Pantone and Adobe. Pantone, which started in the 1960s, is a color matching system universally used by many industries, including printing, graphic design, and paint, amongst others. Adobe is the industry standard design software used by millions of designers and developers around the world. Using Adobe Color, we are able to browse thousands of color combinations from the Adobe Color community to compile multiple color palettes that will work well together across all digital and print media. As color psychology and color association are extremely important, we take great care during the selection process to get this element of the brand right, first time. The use of color has been proved to sway the decision-making process and the ongoing appetite for a product or service. For example, for brands like Ford Motor Company, the color blue tends to suggest trust, security, and purpose, which is why this is used so often throughout their branding. Similarly, Land Rover used the color green, which promotes feelings of harmony, safety, and health, as well as nature. The selection of a brand's color palette or scheme is no accident. For our color scheme, we selected a main green with hues of yellow, along with a charcoal gray and a light gray and white. While selecting these colors, we made sure that each of the colors could reference across all industry systems, which included Pantone PMS, HEX Reference, RAL, European Color Matching System. By doing this, we are able to ensure an accurate translation of color in all future marketing activity. 
Next is the use of fonts. Font selection is also extremely important, as this will need to work in a wide variety of media platforms, including online in websites, email signature, and social media. And offline, in everything from the company brochure, company stationery, building signage, and wayfinding, as well as corporate workwear and fleet graphics. When selecting fonts, it's always good practice to select two typefaces, one of which will be used for headings and notices, whilst the other is often used in paragraph text and secondary text elements. 6. Designing the company's logo Now that the foundations of the brand have been set, it's time to start working on the logo. A company's logo is undoubtedly the first thing that comes to mind when thinking about building or visualizing a brand. No one can ever remember a bad logo. That's why they're bad. Only logos that do their job are retained by consumers. The logo adopted by your business is seen as a symbol that represents the entire brand in its simplest form. When beginning the design process of a logo, we carefully consider every instance in which the new logo will appear. Generally, this sits in three categories. Online, offline collateral, and industrial applications. All of these categories and applications must be considered before we start pushing pixels. It is important to note that not all logos are created in the same way. For instance, an abstract logo has no obvious meaning. It can be a shape or series of shapes that mean very little. For example, BP, which is a series of shapes that have no real meaning. It is only the inclusion of the letters that make it the BP brand. However, over time, the device itself will become recognized as the brand on its own. At the other end of the spectrum are brands like Unilever. Unilever's clever use of various components to form its iconic U character. This forces the viewer to inspect the logo's form and the reasoning behind its design. The U-shape was designed to be symbolic of its vitality mission. Upon closer inspection, the icon includes 25 distinct symbols. Why 25? Because each of the symbols included represents Unilever's sub-brands, or core values. Very clever. With these types of logos in mind, we always pay attention to how intricate or simple we want the finished logo to be. Typically, logos that include intricate elements or lots of information can lose a lot of impact if they need to be scaled down. Our research and experience lead us to the creation of a simple brand that is easily recognizable and stands head and shoulders above its competition. Introducing Aggregate sustainable aggregate solutions. 7. Brand Guidelines Building a brand doesn't end with the creation of a logo, strapline, color palette, and font selection. These are simply the elements of the brand. To ensure that a brand is robust and will stand the test of time, it is essential to create a set of brand guidelines. Your brand guidelines will explain to any individual in your company the correct usage of the logo, along with its positioning and scale. Similarly, when you send your brand assets to a third party, they will have a full explanation of how the logo and extended brands can be used. They will also have access to all color information to ensure there is no deviation from your master brand. Using brand guidelines is a simple process, but the safety they provide is worth the effort. 8. Brand Implementation Once every element of the brand's creation has been completed, you will have achieved your goal. A brand that speaks to your audience. A brand that communicates your company values. A brand that is robust. So it is at this point that we will begin the implementation of the brand across all forms of media. In the case of Aggregate, this included the designing and building of a corporate website, a full suite of business stationery, fleet graphics, building signage and wayfinding, corporate workwear, and social media templates. The finished results 
speak for themselves. As promised earlier, we've included a simple and easy to follow branding plan that is included within the links section, along with links to the resources used during the design process. We do hope you found this video useful, but if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments and we will provide a response. If you need help with your brand, we would be delighted to help. Gerard Greenan Consulting Limited www.gerardgreenan.com